Let's do it. Also, in, in, uh, in between the last video and this one, I got a new flash hider, because if you can see, this one is broken. Uh, it broke off, it's plastic, and then I just kind of sawed it and then uh, gave it a nice good filing, so it looks pretty cool. But I got an APS Vortex uh, flash hider, but someone stupid threaded it clockwise, so now I have to get an adapter. Either way, it cost me $9.99 to put it on, but it... It will look cool, and I can maybe get another, maybe get a little, slightly longer inner barrel. Although I probably won't get around to that. Um, I'm saving up for a pistol right now, uh, and I'm also looking into getting a set of uh, revision soft lie ballistic glasses. So, because uh, crazy NC man has his co coupon code crazy, uh, thirty percent off, five items or less. So I'm gonna get uh, a set of those. Um, Basically, also on the rifle, um, underneath this uh, rail cover, there's a chair right there. He hit the ground anyway. Um, there are these two uh, cable ties through the through the holes on the uh, the uh, RIS rails, and basically that's for mounting the camera. So if I go up and play. Um, game of airsoft which my cousin's getting an airsoft gun so I'll play with him and then some other some people I know who live up near him uh, invited me to play airsoft so uh, that's definitely something I'm going to do um, I'm not even going to bother looking for the rail cover because this has nothing to do with that gun alright so into what I was actually going to review four minutes in I'll just put a little annotation to send you here immediately if you don't really care about the other things alright so this is a uh, Magpul Dynamics MS2 multi-mission sling. Uh, I didn't do a review of it. I talked a little bit about it. Um, but basically through the material, the material is very nice. Uh, which seat belts are made of this material. It kind of feels like the seat belt material. But it's in, I got mine in tan, which is kind of a goldy color. I thought it would go better with the... Uh, um, I thought it would go better with the multicam, better than OD, and I think it definitely did. But it feels really nice when I have it on like this. Sorry, that, if you don't have long sleeves on, that rubs you the wrong way. That's an issue I have with this vest. Um, so this definitely, this feels really nice. It feels like it's definitely not going to break. I use this, basically I haven't really used it to carry my gun around due to certain reasons. Uh, but I have used it like this to carry around my binder. It's cool. Uh, so that, that was pretty funny when I just pulled out a magpul sling and hooked it up to my binder. Um, 
So from this first clip, I was going to pop it off into the mountain, and I'll talk about that. This first clip, it's a little uh, wiggly, but it's definitely it's not going to come off, like no matter how much you pull it, unless you pull down the little pin here, and then it'll swing off. Uh, in terms of the connection between the metal part and the actual part of the sling, and then to the next metal part, solid, and it's connected by the Magpul Dynamics logo. And I moved the light out of the way so that wouldn't get in the way, and now it's not where I need it to be, but it's better than where it was. Uh, I need better lighting. I need a room with better lighting. It's going to set up a whole room just for uh, filming these. Um, anyways, it's very strong. It's definitely it's not going to rip. It feels like it's really been put together well. But uh, this is my first Magpul product, and I am absolutely just blown away with the quality. Um, as you can see, it's been like triple layered. Oh, you can't see that because I'm not aiming it as a camera. Uh, it's been like triple layered right there. Has this right here, and what that is for is uh, just quickly adjusting the size. So if you want to uh, make it bigger, you just pull it. If you want to make it smaller, you just pull it the opposite way. Oh, look, my computer started up. Um, as for the clip on the other end, it just kind of sits in the loop here. Uh, it spins completely around 360. Um, it's a clamp like this, so it opens up. And uh, basically, when I use it, my gun, it's about this far out. Um, comes around here. A little farther. A little looser. Can't find it now. Okay. About here. And then this clamp, basically, you just pop this open. Turn this slightly so you can get to the ring. Clamp it down on the ring, and then there's a little rotating piece on here, which I'll just... I'll show you if you see it's right here and it rotates into place that this can't open can't open um, basically just rotate it like this and then clamp that down and then it's not going anywhere uh, in terms of two-point sling I haven't really have got to try that either because I still don't have a front sling mount for my rifle although I'm going to get one soon uh, as soon as I can get that rear sling mount on I'll talk about that uh, basically, for two-point sling, though, this just stays in the same place. This clips onto the front. You swing it around behind you. Then it kind of just sits like this, and then over your shoulder a bit. All right, so that's the sl that's the Magpul MS2 sling. Now, the mount itself turns out it was this hole was slightly too small to fit the thing in. So I have a cable tie on here which basically just goes the mount or the uh, ring just goes through the cable tie just through the ring and that cable, t cable ties are really strong so that's not going to fall off unless you, like, unless you cut it. As for the mount itself, um, I don't know if it'll work, it probably would work with like a Classic Army or a Saima or a G&G &G or something like that but because this is an ICS their back piece is slightly different so it has a big screw it goes through here, and then this thing just has this little tiny hole. It also has a groove right here for the um, wires for the stock. So I'm just going to get my. So me and my dad are going to drill a big hole through there, and it's going to stop. And then that way, uh, it'll sit right after the ring that's already there. This ring doesn't come off when it's already there. If you can see that, that's slightly different. It doesn't come off, so it's going to sit right after that and before the buffer tube. Um, and I'm hoping that works because basically because it was basically what was happening before was if this was the buffer tube kind of thing, it was like pushing it like this, kind of pulling a little bit, so it was pushing the thing out, so it was kind of working on pulling the stock out, and it would just pull the stock out. Um, but yeah, that's my video for this week. Uh, next week, um, huh, next week I might go into detail on these gloves if I use them for anything. I might do another ghillie suit test video since people were complaining about the last one. Um, really depends. Really depends what I might do. Uh, Alright. This has been... And then about two weeks from now, maybe, I'll probably be doing one for revisions offline, plus the classes. But either way. Um, Alright. See ya.